How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and I just got done installing the first mod on the Subi. Didn't really go as planned. Gonna have to order some more stuff to finish the job. Don't worry about that. Video should be coming out on that very soon. If you haven't seen the new car reveal, sorry I just spilled it, but go check out the video because we hit a can. We do a lot of fun stuff in the car. We do a little overview and a we just talk about it it's cool we chat you like chatting i like chatting today though we're going to be taking a look at some mods that i probably won't be doing on the subi if we can dare call these mods we're gonna be looking at some instagram car products that just are trash there's no easier way to say it than they're garbage also i added lights to my room so you're catching me in hd hopefully i don't look as ugly or it amplified it either way whatever Call me pretty. All right, anyways, if you guys see anything stupid on Instagram, be sure to tag me at underscore, underscore, underscore Drew Peacock. You can see it here on screen. Also, if you want to follow me, you don't have to. I'm not forcing you to. Let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, first thing. This is the dumbest fucking thing I've seen all year so far. You would have to be brain dead or just not alive at all to like buy this. It's just, I, I, this, I can't imagine people are that stupid. Let's take a look. Oh, slap that on there. Boom! Oh yeah, that, that totally works. That totally makes sense. That, that makes a lot of sense. Yep, just like this comment says, Bluetooth? Your Bluetooth device is ready. Yeah, no, that's a, that's, that's how it works. Yeah, you just slap this 3M tape thing on. You know, I got some 3M tape right here for a pop socket mount. Um, just slap that on, put some buttons on it, you know, a little, little fidget spinner maybe, and you could do all sorts of things with it. Imagine one with a fidget spinner, you yank that shit or you flip it, start spinning it and your, your seat just rapidly reclines, you fucking give it a whip and you're like, oh fuck, that's what they need. Th this button technology, I don't know. Now the, the thing is, I don't know how they're actually doing this. I don't know if there's someone snaking in something and controlling the controls. I don't know where they're at. The McLaren controls are in the front. These are probably on the side if I had to guess. I don't know how they're doing it, but that button ain't doing shit. I wonder how much they're charging for that thing. Also their caption just makes no sense. New 2022 knob. <laughs> what fucking knob are we talking about? Are they not selling this this revolutionary product right here? What what knob are they talking about? Let's see what other comments there are. To all those thinking this is real, I would sincerely request them to get themselves either checked out or get themselves admitted to a mental asylum. Will it work on my 98 Honda? <laughs> I'm dyslexic. He said 89. It probably will. It'll work on everything. This is what Moses used to split the Red Sea. Just put a Bluetooth button on it and voila gone also is there a tear in the back seat let me just check that real quick uh let me see if my peacock vision is lying to me is that a tear is that a tear kind of looks like a tear what be going on in that car all right next product shop link on the bio car parts on sale good shit let's take a look at what, what they have to offer okay let's cover up that fake carbon fiber yep put on this glittery sticker is it a sticker it like stretches too why would you cover up is it fake carbon fiber let's see if they if they covered up real carbon fiber <laughs> they dare they do that they car they covered up the real carbon fiber with this weird pantyhoe sticker this is trashy this is bad this is straight up for girls that think uh yelling wins arguments it doesn't logic does if you have to yell to get your point across the other person better be deaf or you're just losing the argument. Yeah, this is, this doesn't look good. I can only imagine how it feels too, or like you put your fucking arm on it, you lift it up and it's just sparkle galore. You wipe it off, gone. You can ruin this whole center console with a baby wipe. Just like a lot of Insta models these days, make them unrecognizable with a makeup wipe. Real generation of catfish. Yeah, this is stupid, but I mean, it's not as bad as the fake button. Let's see if it's as bad as this. All right, so, you know, take off your, oh, yep, you know, you got to remove the, uh, the foreskin cheese every once in a while. Got to get that out of your, uh, valve stem caps. That's, that's pretty common right there. Throw on the, the glow in the dark ones. You see, the thing about glow in the dark is it needs light to work. And then the lights need to be immediately cut off. I don't think this would work at night because the sun gradually goes down. It might stay lit for like 15 to 20 minutes and then it's over and the sun has barely gone down. What are you going to get out of the car with your fucking flashlight on your iPhone and light them up at every intersection like this? This is worse than an actual LED one that's like motion activated. The foreskin cheese is pretty realistic though. And that's some that's some authentic shit, but yeah, I, and also <laughs> the last one that wasn't even the, the same product. Like that looks like the product. That looks pretty reminiscent of what we just saw. That's white. That that is literally the tape, the reflective tape that we've seen in the past. They just put that on and then just said, "You know what? It's good enough." It'll probably look like that. This one doesn't have a caption, no sales pitch. It just says follow. 
give them a follow. Also, it isn't their product, apparently. It says DM for credit or removal request. All rights and credits reserved to the respective owners. I also hate when people do that. If you're going to steal someone's shit, like, you're, you obviously know where it came from. This thing didn't, didn't, like, fucking fly in your window, you know? You didn't just randomly get an email, like, from Anonymous, and it said, post this. No, uh, you know where it came from. Just fucking tag the people that you stole it from. What is the name of this gadget? Oh, God. The Dollar Store Rice Wheeled Accessory. That's what it is. All right, next product. This one has no comments. Be the first to like this, so it's got no likes. I apparently am the only person on the face of the earth that has seen this. The only person. This is a world record right here. This is a, a highlight of my life. They think that I own one, an S550, which I don't. And two, that I would want some weird condoms for my suspension and mode toggle switches. Oh, and a, a flip up start button. Yeah, that's, a, that's not for me. Also, wouldn't catch me dead in an automatic. Automatics are fast. They are. Just add more horsepower. You'll be able to beat it. It's not that hard. Yeah, these are stupid. Um, and you know, they probably sell for like 15 bucks. Let's see what else they got on their page. American Modified. Ayo. They don't show other mods. This is whack. It's just Honda Civics and Mustangs. Two very different cars, but very similarly hated. All right, whatever. That one was short. That was a quickie. All right, this one. Steering wheel covers. Everyone loves steering wheel covers. They make your wheels thicker, they're way sketchier because your wheel might be sliding around inside it. Really sketchy, don't recommend them. This one is Alcantara. Very nice, a little Alcantara clip on uh, side things, I guess. I don't, I don't know if you can really call this a cover. She also didn't put them on equally the same length. This one is sitting up way higher on, like this is way over the bump right here, the little grippy bump, the girth. This is way over the girth. This one is right on the girth. I don't like that. This girl needs her eyes checked. How to destroy your car. Nah, I wouldn't say that it would destroy your car, but these look more secure than the, the ones that you gotta stretch over and slide around inside. But still, uh, I just, just don't, just probably don't, you know? Don't buy every accessory that AutoZone sells for your car. It doesn't make it look like you've done more shit. There's a certain level where it just becomes tacky. These probably do what they say, but steer clear. No pun intended. That was accidental. I know. Sometimes it just comes to me. All right, next one. Top three gadgets you didn't know you needed. You didn't fucking know you needed these, but right after this video, go buy them. All right, let's see what we got. We got a, a tray. As if the obesity problem in America isn't bad enough. I know, I've gained some weight. I'm working on it, sort of. Um, all right, so the first one, probably don't need that one. Probably wouldn't be too useful. All right, this one is the viral TikTok wireless car charger. It's motion activated. Yeah, probably don't want that one either. I'll just stick with a normal, just lightning cable. And then the footwell lighting. Okay, out of all the three I would get, I would probably get the, the car charger just because it is conveniently a stand as well. Um, I just don't really like wireless chargers. They really suck for the most part, especially coming out of a car. It's even worse. Like car chargers already suck. Wireless chargers already suck. Combine the two and you've got a piece of shit. So there's that. Um, but yeah, the, 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 the footwell lighting, you can do whatever you want to your car on the inside. You're only gonna see it anyways, who cares, whatever. This is, this is useless though. Garbage. Where'd they go, fat twins? What the fuck is that? It sounds good, it looks kinda good though. Those fries look pretty good. All right, next thing, link in bio. Follow and stay tuned, as they say. Uh, we got a mini steering wheel, okay? A mini steering wheel for your steering wheel. Dead center two. Your airbag doesn't deploy, and oh fuck, you're gonna have a third eye right after that. Damn. Yeah, that doesn't look safe. I also don't like how it's all metal too, so like, let's say your steering wheel wasn't chewed up like this poor savage that drives this car. Let's say your steering wheel wasn't your morning commute snack. Well, it would probably fuck up your steering wheel. The ones that you usually see are plastic, so they don't really chew up your wheel. This one's all metal, which is good because it's probably more secure, but bad because it's gonna fuck up your wheel, I would think. Also, I don't like how thin and just cheap it looks. I feel like you grab it and then you put any amount of force on it and it's just gonna like twist the shit out of it and break. It doesn't, it doesn't look very secure. It doesn't look very robust. Uh, I, I don't like it. I think this is a hard pass for me. I also don't like where they placed it. Dead center. Like I said, if you hit your fucking head on that, lights out. Uh, that shit's gonna go straight through your fucking noggin. Crack your head open like Humpty Dumpty. 10 out of 10, do not recommend. All right, last one. I don't think this product is so bad, 
Their advertising department, though, needs to be put out of their misery. This is fucking stupid. Check this out. We got a little uh, basket, a little 3M basket. Boom, why not? Throw it on your fucking window. Roll down that window. Roll it down. Roll down the window. You need to go to a drive-thru? You need to pay a toll or something? You need Roll it down. Roll it down. I'm not asking. I'm telling. That is fucking stupid. Putting it on the door. The door's okay, I guess. I don't think it would stick all that well. Just because, like, the surfaces you're putting it on. The dash is probably okay. It, it's not fucking sticking to that. It is not sticking to a headliner. Not happening. Cap. 100% cap. Not happening. I, I don't even think that dash was a good idea. The best one was the door. The door... You put a little bit of super glue on that and you never want to take it off, you can make that stay. I don't think it would stick to that texture of door just because I have my car mount that wouldn't stick to that texture in the Accord. So, I don't believe that one. It would probably stick to the dash, but then you have, uh, you know, your wallet and your phone and your chapstick shooting at your fucking face if you get into an accident. Like, you're going to have your fucking phone slicing in your eye socket right here. The lighter sticking out of your mouth on fire, exploding. Not a good look. Don't want to see that happen. Up here, just that's just all lies. All lies. I'm surprised they didn't put on the steering wheel. Fucking idiots. Yeah, these are all bad. These are all bad products. Out of all of them, if I had to get one, I mean... Yeah, no, I would just sell my car before I had to get any of these. The basket one is probably the most useful one, if it's actually sticky. Because I do hate taking up a whole cup holder with my phone sometimes. Fucking hate it. It's annoying. But whatever. Let me know. Which one was the worst? They're all really bad. Unforgivably bad. Which one is the worst though? If you guys see any like this, tag me in them. Um, I will go finish the Subi video. I need to start modding it. I'm already itching to do it. I'm tweaking, man. I'm fucking tweaking. Hope you guys are excited to see what I do with the car. It's gonna be fun. It's just gonna be a fun, reliable <laughs> car. I don't know if it's gonna be reliable. Hopefully it is. Anyways, guys, subscribe to see more videos like this one. And until next video, peace.